everyone and welcome back to drug lord tycoon today's video we're gonna go over the new update which added distributors now what do these distributors do for example if i package it myself i'm limited to 100 grams per package and when i go to sell it i only have a certain amount of delivery boys to sell it to where if i sell through a distributor they'll buy a mass bulk like nazar here he'll buy 4,000 grams of my product but he's gonna take a percentage of that so nazar here will take 30 percent and currently there's only four distributors and they each have their own selective territory the first distributor that you might come across is nazar with a 30% cut and 4,000 grams, he controls the starting warehouse and the first warehouse that you could buy in the territory. Next, you have Jonas with a 35% cut, max order 7,000 grams, and he controls the house territory. The next distributor you might come across is Diego, 40% cut, 10,000 grams, max order, and he controls the second warehouse. And finally, the last distributor, Gustavo, 45% cut, but his max order is 30,000 grams. And this is where this video is gonna take place. We're gonna pimp out this entire warehouse. Where this side, we're gonna pimp out with our tree star farm and the small warehouse to the side over here is gonna be our sour rock candy now you're probably thinking tree star farm sour rock candy what are you talking about those are my last two videos of drug lord tycoon got demonetized so from now on tree stars sour rock candy got it good but in order to pimp these warehouses we need to get some money right now we have 1.9 million but we're gonna get a little bit more so we're gonna go over to gasaba over here and right now he wants some sour grape rock candy and the payout is going to be one million dollars so we're going to set that order and as he slides away like a creep he's the only distributor that slides and doesn't have a walk animation pilots come to inform and this is where we replace our sour rock candy so we're going to go over to our packaging table click on the distributor tab and with a simple click we can package up 1000 grams of sour rock candy that was easy and simply take each package and place it on the pallet and as you can see the number goes up as the more we place on these pallets and we're going to do this 30 times until we have 30,000 grams of sour grape rock candy now in order to get these distributors to show up you need to have a thousand grams of just any product and they'll end up showing up and contacting you now you don't have to accept the deal you can decline it but they'll come back with a different offer though the second part of this update which isn't out yet if you decline a distributor they might call the cops on you to come to investigate you it should also be known with this method you can get a lot of money but you can also get a lot of xp and level up really quick and once we're done packaging 30,000 grams if we hit the f key we can see our phone and he'll arrive in 17 hours which is about 17 minutes in real life now all we gotta do is just wait for him to pick up his sour grape rock candy and get paid and we can start pimping out our warehouses and with just three seconds left gustavo should be shutting us a text and Gustavo said he's coming to pick up the stuff right now. And with the Gustavo's case, here comes his boys, along with him sliding across my parking lot. And boom, that doesn't seem like enough boys to carry my products, though. Hi, how are you? Oh, there's the third one. And just like that, we're up to $3 million. Enough to pimp out both these warehouses, which I'm going to skip ahead to the final result. All right, after that jump cut, we pimped out both these warehouses, and we're going to show you a tour, starting with the Tree Star Farm. Starting off, we have three rows of 10, giving us 30 planters of the two by sixes to give us 360 Tree Star spots. And they're all getting 100% sunlight and water. And over here, we have three rows of eight for a grand total of 24 drying racks, and that is 240 drying spaces to dry our Tree Star leaves. And each of these drying racks have its own fan, so we can dry them off much quicker. And moving Moving on to the sour rock candy, we have 25 sour grape rock candy machines all around the edges here, like so. And in the center here, we have 13 cooling machines for a grand total of 26 spots. And finally, we have five drying machines for hardening our sour rock candy. Now all we gotta do is get the workers in here to start making our products. The first worker we're gonna hire is the rock candy stalker, and we're gonna get him situated by buying his shelving and other things that he needs. Two shelving should be good for right now. Before we get any more workers, we're gonna power up all the rock candy machines by putting propane in them. The next worker that we're gonna hire is the tree star stalker. We also wanna get his shelving ready. And what we're gonna do before we get the workers for the tree star farm, we're gonna plant some tree stars. And after setting up both warehouses, we're ready to hire our workers. Let's start off with the rock candy workers. I'm gonna order 10 worker lockers, and we're gonna get them set up in the rock candy store. Okay, so far I have three in this corner. I have one in the lonely corner over here. The others are going to have to go on the back side of the stalkers over here. Okay, after some rearranging, we were able to put in 15 worker lockers in the rock candy warehouse. Now, if we need more, we have extra space, but we're going to start off with 15. Let's go hire these workers. Okay, now that we hired all the workers in the rock candy warehouse, let's work on the tree star farm. Now, whereas the rock candy is going to be our money maker since it costs so much, the tree star farm is going to be our XP maker while we wait for the rock candy to be made. So for the tree star farm, we're going to hire a lot more workers and my game crashed 
Oh, <laughs> that took a very long time to load. I thought my game crashed. All right, so now we got 20 tree star workers and 15 rock candy workers. So like I said before, our rock candy business, that's gonna be our money maker. Whereas the tree star farm, this is gonna be our XP maker. The more workers that we have, the higher our XP goes. Now all these workers are gonna cost a lot of money if we open up our phone and we go to our workers tab. Every day it's gonna cost $52,000 just to pay all these guys. But we can just go over to Gustavo over here and sell them our sour grape rock candy. Now all we gotta do is just sit back, let them make the product, and then I package it up and sell it to the distributor. A uh, little side note here, I think I have too many workers. The game is going a little bit framey at times. Uh, might want to turn back on the workers a little bit. Okay, now I only have 10 rock candy workers and I only have 15 tree star farmers. And the game is still running a little bit choppy. Uh, I might go to one of my other warehouses real quick. Uh, go to, let's go to this rock candy warehouse and we're gonna fire all these workers and hopefully that will smooth it out a little bit. We're closed up shop boys. We don't need this anymore. You're all fired okay what i think what we'll do is we're gonna just sell everything in this warehouse also okay we finally clear out this warehouse i can't delete the computer it won't let me so let's go back to our main factories and see if it will actually load in quicker fingers crossed hopefully it does i loaded in a lot quicker thank god it's still loading a little bit framey but it's a little bit better well this was the distributor update in drug lord tycoon i hope you enjoyed let me know in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe to help the channel grow and like always i hope you have a fantastic day and i'll see you in the next video and i hope my game will load after i save it